hello friends you're welcome back in our previous video we showed you that partial fractions can be merged together and also partial, partial fractions can also be resolved back to smaller units so this lesson today we're going to express this partial fraction this complex looking partial fraction as a simpler individual partial fraction so just watch how i'm going to do it so we have in the numerator we have 3x plus 5 and in the denominator it has already been resolved to two parts which is x minus 3 and 2x plus 1 so if we are going to resolve this to their individual partial fractions this is how we're going to go about it so just watch it's going to be equal to we're going to divide it right we'll use plus divide it first of all right x minus 3 then the first part and we're going to write 2x plus 1 in the second part so what do we write in the numerator now based on what we have in the denominator we have a polynomial of one de degree that means the power of x is one so we're going to write a coefficient a single coefficient in the numerator a single number represented as a and here also the highest power we have is one therefore the numerator will be a single number the numerator will be a single number. So based on that, we're going to start solving right away. We're going to say, we'll multiply through the right, the left-hand side and the right-hand side by this denominator. So we will say 3x plus 5. We'll put a bracket down. We'll put the bracket down. Then we'll multiply by the denominator. 2x plus 1 all over x minus 3, 2x plus 1 equal to. And we will also multiply each of these terms by this denominator. Right? So we're going to have, we'll say a all over x minus minus 3 times the denominator which is x minus 3 2x plus 1 plus b all over 2x plus 1 times x minus 3 2x plus 1 as simple as that so now, on the, on the left hand side, we're going to strike this off. This numerator is going to strike this off, leaving us with 3x plus 5. So we'll write 3x plus 5. Right? If we move to the right hand side, x minus 3 in the denominator is going to strike off x minus 3 in the upper numerator giving us a 2x plus 1 plus then 2x plus 1 we strike off 2x plus 1 in the numerator giving us bx minus 3 and so we're left with this equation all right so now as we're left with this equation what are we going to do next what we're going to do next is we're going to find a way to eliminate one of the unknowns which is a or b so how do we eliminate a or b from this that means we're going to make this bracket zero so if it multiplies a it becomes zero or we're going to make this bracket zero so if it multiplies b it becomes zero so what are we going to make what value of x are we going to give to make a zero or to make this bracket zero so that means we're going to make this be minus one if this is minus one 
it will be added to 1 and it will become 0. So what value of x I'm going to put here to make it minus 1. So I think we'll say let x watch carefully, watch closely, let x be equal to minus 1 over 2. Let x be equal to minus 1 over 2. So if we substitute the value of x as minus 1 over 2 into these values, then we'll be able to eliminate a. And if we eliminate a, we can find the value of b. So if we substitute that in, we have 3 minus 1 over 2 plus 5 equal to a. 2 bracket minus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus b minus 1 over 2. Let's leave this a square. Minus 3. Alright. So this will be minus 3 over 2 plus 5 equal to a. You know this will become minus 1 plus 1 and this will become b minus 1 over 2 minus 3. So if we open this up, the LCM, assuming this is over 1, LCM is 2. 2 divided by 2 gives us 1 times minus 3 gives us minus 3. 2 divided by 1 gives us 2, times 5 gives us 10. Then we will have, so we're left with what? B. We'll draw the denominator and put the LCM, assuming this is over 1, right? So it will be minus 1, minus 6, minus 1, minus 6 minus 1 minus 6 so minus 3 plus 10 which is 10 minus 3 is 7 over 2 while b will give us minus 1 minus 6 gives us minus 7 over 2 all right so b will be what 7 over 2 divided by minus 7 over 2, which is equal to minus 1. Okay, let's come this way. So we will say when x is equal to 3. So we're going to substitute the value when x is equal to 3. So we'll say 3 brackets 3, right? plus 5 equal to a we'll make a square two three plus one plus b three minus three which we know is zero right therefore it will cancel out b so we have nine plus five 3 times 3, 9 plus 5 equal to a bracket 6 plus 1. 2 times 3, 6 plus 1, 7, which is equal to 7a. So we know this is 14 equal to 7a. Therefore, a is equal to what? Therefore, a is equal to 14 over 7, which is equal to 2. So if we substitute these values, we know that A gave us 2 and B gave us minus 1. If we substitute this in the original equation, which is 3x plus 5 all over, all over x minus 3 bracket 2x plus 1 equal to, you know, remember we divided it into x 
minus 3 and b all over 2x plus 1. All right? So if we substitute the values of a and b, we will have 2 all over x minus 3 plus minus 1, 2x plus 1. All right? So that is 2x minus 3 minus 1 all over 2x plus 1. So this is how we can split a complex partial fraction into simpler partial fractions or how we can break down a complex partial fraction as an expression of an addition or subtraction of two simpler partial fractions. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.